Let's learn to create this nice smooth transition in After Effects. So, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects. Then create a new composition. I am calling it Smooth Zoom Transition. As always, I am using the same resolutions and frame rate. Set the duration to 5 seconds. Let me import the required footage for this tutorial. Drag and drop both footage to the main composition. Move your time indicator to the 1 second. Then move the bottom footage to that position. Select the top footage. Go to the edit menu, then select split layer. Now delete the extra part of the top footage. Move your time indicator to 2 seconds. Drag the work area to 2 seconds. Right click here, and choose trim comp to work area. Now, let's create a zoom effect. Right click here. Then create an adjustment layer. Go to effects and presets. Search and apply the transform effect to the adjustment layer. Move your time indicator back by 20 frames. Then add a keyframe on scale. Then go forward to 20 frames. Then change the scale amount to 300. Select the adjustment layer and press U to reveal both keyframes. Select the adjustment layer, then drag both ends to decrease its duration by one second. Uncheck the Use Compositions Shutter option. Then set the shutter angle value to 360. This will create a nice motion blur effect for the transition. Duplicate the adjustment layer. Drag the adjustment layer to just above the second footage. Move your time indicator to the start of the second adjustment layer. Change the scale value to 20. Move forward to the end of the second adjustment layer, then change the scale value back to 100. Now we need to fix this black space. So keep the second adjustment layer selected. Go to the effects and presets. Search and apply the motion tile effect on it. Move the motion tile effect just above the transform effect. Change the output width and height to 500. Also, select the mirror edges. Select both adjustment layers. Press U to reveal all keyframes. Select all keyframes. Right click, Keyframe Assistant. Then choose Easy Ease. Select both keyframes of the bottom adjustment layer. Go to the Graph Editor. If your graph doesn't look like this, go to Graph Type. Make sure the Speed Graph is selected. Now adjust the graph to look like this. Select the left point of the graph and adjust it accordingly. Then, select the right point of the graph and make the necessary adjustments. Exit the Graph Editor. Select the keyframes of the second adjustment layer. Go to the Graph Editor. Select the left point on the graph and adjust it as shown in the example. Next, select the right point and adjust it accordingly to match the desired shape or curve. Exit the Graph Editor. Move this keyframe back by one frame to create a smoother animation. Let's see the preview. Cool. Looks perfect to me. Let's enhance the visual appeal by adding another effect. Right click here, and create an adjustment layer. Reduce the duration of the third adjustment layer. So that it only covers the span of the first two adjustment layers. Move your time indicator to the beginning of the third adjustment layer. Go to effects and presets. Search and apply the optics compensation effect on it. Select the reverse lens distortion. Also, add a keyframe on field of view. Move your time indicator to the point where the two clips are separated. Then change the field of view value to 150. Go forward to the end of the third adjustment layer. Then change the field of view value back to zero. Press U to reveal all keyframes. 
select all keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Let's see the preview. Cool. Our smooth zoom transition is ready. Now select all adjustment layers. Right click, then choose pre-compose. Let's call it smooth zoom, or any other name you prefer. Make sure the adjust composition duration is selected. As you can see, nothing is happening. Let's fix this. Just select this collapse transformation option. Now everything is working. You can add more clips if you want. Our smooth zoom transition is completed. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please show me your support by liking and subscribing the Rizat Graphics. I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Peace.